Hey guys, welcome back to my workbench. Dan here as always, and in this video we're going to be doing another quick trick on a covered hopper here. This is going to be my wavy panel wash effect. This is nothing new. This has been done in modeling years before, and some modelers can do it better, but a lot of you guys have uh, approached me about this particular technique because you've seen some of this on my box cars lately, and a few hopper prototypes that I've done, so I figured I'd show this for you real quick and uh, discuss this, but basically if you can see this, you can see how the sides of this hopper have that wavy panel effect and this is pretty prototypical for an aged prototype especially on these older smooth side covered hoppers where they have the ribs uh, evenly spaced apart a lot of times you'll see the panels start to bow out they start to dent inwards a little bit uh, there's numerous prototypes not just hoppers but box cars uh, that you can do this on gondolas as well you can get away with it in some cases um, but I'm just going to be demonstrating this technique for you today Alright, so one thing to note on this prototype, I'm pretty much doing a darker, older covered hopper prototype. So I've actually gone in here and laid in some airbrush work between these panels to darken the yellow on the car body first before I have applied this wash. Here you can see I've already done a few panels and I've cleaned off a logo uh, to get me started. But I did basically some primer weathering. I call the airbrush work primer weathering. This is just a thin wash of earth brown and black. Uh, I've shown many videos of me making this wash and spraying it on similar cars you guys can go back in my archive and refer to some videos on how to do this airbrush weathering technique but essentially this is our primer weathering it's been sealed in with an airbrush first uh, I can't just weather over that because if I do it would take that airbrushed paint back off uh, so this has to be sealed in properly before we do any oil work or any other acrylic work or anything else to the car sides so that's important to note here before we get started here but the actual wash technique is the final weathering technique to the sides and it can be layered and repeated uh, however many times you need to but I generally find with these covered hoppers I can gauge it based on how much of a, a heavy weathering buildup I do on the uh, panels first so this initial weathering has made it so that I really only need one effective wash to uh, get me the right rust tone. But this can be repeated a few times to get the proper color. Okay guys, so I'm using two brushes to do this and one tube of paint. It's my Burnt Umber, my commonly chosen color. This is a really nice dark grime color. I've applied some of my little mixing paper here. You guys are familiar with my setup. I generally will dab a little bit of paint on my paper and I have a little bit of odorless thinner set aside. I highly recommend odorless thinner over just water. These are water mixable oils and you can dilute them with water. However, with water you have less uh, I guess potable time you could say where the paint's viable. Uh, it starts to dry up very quickly and the pigment doesn't separate properly and mix properly and so on and so forth. The uh, thinner helps to blend this paint a little bit better and it gives you more working time. So I highly recommend that you use odorless thinner with water mixable oil. I know that's kind of confusing and a couple people have asked me questions about that but I do almost always now use the paint thinner compared to water for my oil paint. Anyways, that's the paint I'm going to be using. The brushes I'm going to be using are important here. This is the main application brush. This is what we're going to be using to apply the oil to the model first and this is the brush where the magic happens. This is just a flat, thin tip brush. These are super cheap. You can get these at any craft store. They're like a dollar, two dollars. These are perfect for doing the wavy panel effect and I will demonstrate that. But first things first, what we need to do is take this brush and load it up with a thin oil wash. So we're going to come in here and I've preloaded the bristles with a little bit of thinner and I've dried it off on my paper towel so that I can just load a little bit of paint. I am still going to go in and just add a little bit more thinner because I really want to thin this out a little bit. And let's go ahead and demonstrate here. What you're going to do is take your paint and you're going to start in several of these panels at a time you'll notice that I'm not going directly over these ribs if you go over them it's fine you can always wash these off with a q-tip but generally remember that on covered hoppers those ribs will stay a little bit cleaner uh, I generally will brush weather those with a little bit more detail effect later on but this will just give us a basic idea so you can see I've applied a pretty decently heavy wash to the side uh, this will work with a lighter wash, but sometimes the effects get blanketed a little bit more. A darker wash will show this a lot better. So I've now taken and loaded my other bristle brush up here, the thin tip flat brush, with a little bit of thinner, and I'm going to 
just dry it off a little bit. As you can see, there's quite a bit on that brush. And I'm now going to take, and I'm going to, well, i got to set this up so that it's not going to get my hand in the way here. But basically what I'm going to do, watch the brush. Watch the brush. Notice my hand motion here. Notice what I'm doing. Press that brush into the paint. Work it down. Blend it down. Just like that. Pull some of that extra paint off. I don't really want that. Grab a little bit more thinner. Blend it down. Notice that I'm kind of swatting the brush into the side of the car like this. And I'm just working that paint down like that. And I'm really overworking this here for the sake of demonstration because I'm really trying to make this visible but you can kind of see what we're creating here. And it looks pretty harsh at first but keep in mind we can work this back out a little bit if we need to. Uh, we just are gonna wait for this to set up maybe a little bit more. I apologize my hands in the way here. I'll set up another shot so we can see this a little bit clearly but if you look at my hand specifically and you watch what that brush is doing let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit watch my hand pay attention to my hand and the brush for a second notice the motion I'm just letting my hand rock a little bit and I'm just forcing that brush down into the paint to create a wavy effect but I'm keeping it pretty straight here you can see I'm not getting crazy with it I'm just letting the brush simply flow inside those panels with that uh, rocking motion. Here's a better shot here. So we take the brush, we've applied our basic wash to these four panels first. It's a heavier wash. We're going to take our brush that's been prepared by dipping it in the thinner. I've patted some of it off and I'm now going to take this brush and I'm going to come in here, watch the brush motion watch what I'm doing with the brush. I'm not just pulling that paint down I'm forcing the bristles into the paint like this to get it to pull up a little bit and then I go through again add those waves. Isn't that amazing? But it's very prototypical for these cars and again this is a very simple technique. This does not take a lot of effort to try to get down all you got to do is practice it a few times and once you take off on a covered hopper like this you can do it over and over again and just get some amazing results uh, but you can see how it's been built up and it looks a little harsh at first uh, and if you guys aren't 100 percent satisfied with the wash let this dry up a little bit then take a flat bristle brush again same way maybe take a little bit more thinner off so it's a little bit drier and then you can just simply very lightly go over but do not overwork it so that you completely obliterate those waves in that wash you just want to go over and smooth it out a little bit and that'll help to blend this out just a little bit more here on these panels in the corner you can kind of see where I did that and if I actually I probably better take the model here to show you but if I can get it in shot here on these end panels this is where I've gone through and I've smoothed those back out a little bit and you can see it creates this really subtle wavy effect but subtle is better because you don't want this to be you know so obvious and noticeable most of the time on prototype cars it's very subtle and it's worked into the sides over the years and a lot of that grime just builds up subtly uh, so this is a very good way to model this effect on these kinds of covered hoppers and like I said it works very well in box cars as well I have numerous box car prototypes where I've done this on and it works very well so the only other thing I'll say about this make sure you go back through clean off these ribs all you gotta do is take a q-tip for example this kind of q-tip if I get it set back up all you gotta do is come back through hit these ribs up clean them back off and like I said I'm gonna go back through and I will hand weather these ribs uh, because mostly the the weathering is a little bit more detailed so I will go in and I will weather these separately from the car body Now we get to jump ahead here and look at the finished car and you can see here how we've 
gone ahead and added some patching, some um, various decals and other little effects, and I've also applied some more washes and stuff to uh, enhance the grime just a little bit more, and of course there's some rust spots and other little things, but above all, when you actually look at the car, you can still see those wavy panels. I know the shot here isn't that fantastic, but you can still see them prominently through all that grime and that's the key to the trick once you've blended this technique in it really looks nice it looks just like this is actually made of metal and it's been sitting out in the elements for all these years and the metal has started to bulge out a little bit and bind in bend in and everything else this typical kind of sagging that you see on these prototypes uh, I'm very happy with this technique and I'm hoping this inspires you like everything else uh, for you guys to go out and try this uh, I recommend you try this on rib sided cars first uh, smooth side cars you can do this technique on it's a little bit more tricky because you have to blend the wash out uh, going down the side compared to where if you're just working in between ribs you can kind of control it uh, but it can be done and maybe down the road I'll try to come back to another prototype if I can find one where I can do a smooth sidecar with the wavy panel trick. Uh, it is doable but it is a little bit more tricky to actually blend it out and I don't recommend you just jump in and try to do one right away. Uh, a car like this is better because you, it gives you these ribs where you can work in between these and control your paint a little bit easier. Alright guys, that wraps up this video. I appreciate you watching and hopefully you guys have learned another technique here that you can add to your bag of tricks. Uh, we got plenty more to cover so you guys can stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now we're going to start moving into full car weathering. I got a couple different prototypes I want to start working on and I'm going to start uh, trying to film some stuff over here. Uh, kind of over New Year's weekend I think I'm going to start some projects up as it's coming up fast. So uh, we'll try to get some more stuff done and give you guys some exciting content. I got another update coming up here pretty soon too, kind of towards the end of Christmas. Uh, around that time. Uh, I'll get around to that and be able to post that so you guys can keep an eye out for that as well. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.